Greetings, friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading comes to us from the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verses 13 through 17. And the quote is by William Marion Branham from the message entitled, The Water Baptism. This message was preached on January 20th, 1961. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Now a lot, a lot of Trinitarian people try to say, I was debating it not long ago. I find out don't do no good. Because no man can come to God unless God foreknew him and called him before the foundation of the world. All the Father has given me will come to me, said Jesus. See? And this man tried to say, he was a, a Trinitarian, extremely, and he stood up before the class and he said, my precious friend, said, Brother Branham is a, one of the finest fellows, see? You see right then, I know, this, uh, Jesus said, you hypocrites, how can you say good things for out of the abundance of heart speak of the mouth, see? And so, just trying to find favor with the people, he said, this is a church of Christ man and a so-called church of Christ. Of course, they're against all the true teachings of the Bible almost and you couldn't call them. I don't mean to say anything against them people in there, but them ministers are, is, if you'll excuse expressions like the Irishman's owl, all fuss and feathers and no owl. So that's just about <laughs> the way it is. You see, just, uh, they, uh, they haven't got nothing to stand on. So a modern Pharisee. Now, he said, but Brother Benham has been like a... a in this discussion said wiggle out of everything like the worm in the lemon but said I would like for him to wiggle out of this one and of course all debaters hold the keynote to the last part of it so then he said at the baptism in Matthew 3 the display of three persons absolutely three distinct persons the sun standing on the bank the Holy Ghost like a dove in between them God the Father speaking out of heaven I said, sir, is that your keynote? He said, I want to hear you wiggle out of that one. I said, sir, you just wiggle back and read the scripture the way it reads. I said, that's the only thing. You're just misreading the scripture to the people. I said, that is thinner than the broth made out of a shad of a chicken is starved to death. I said, well, you're just, you're, you're, you're making it wrong, brother. You're misreading it to the people. And I said, now look here what the brother says. Now I'll take it like this. Like these I got, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Now this year... It'd be the Holy Ghost, and that's real Son, Israel Father. Now watch how they read that. When Jesus was baptized, went straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God like a dove descending. And a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm pleased to dwell. I said, See, three beautiful illustrations. The Son on the ground, the Holy Ghost like a dove in between, and the Father out of heaven speaking. See how the devil can stand there and deceive a person? If you don't have a revelation of God, of God isn't merciful to us, we ought to be thankful. He made that say something it didn't say, just like Matthew 28, 19. Make him say something it don't say. He never said baptize them. He never said baptize in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. He said baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, which is Jesus Christ. Now, let us take this illustration. Now let's see. You're getting the scriptures wrote down, Matthew three there. Last three or four verses. Now I just depend on her. Right? All right, that's all right. She gets. Then you can study it when you get I'm giving you scriptures so you can study it alone. Yeah. Now look notice. Now they say that was the sun standing on the bank. This is God the Holy Ghost like a dove in between them. And God the Father was speaking out of the heaven. Now, look like that make exactly three different voices in three different places. Now, notice. Now, 
when Jesus is baptized, now we realize that heavens is, means above, uh, atmospheres, whatever it is, into heavens. Now when Jesus is baptized, he went straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens was opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God. I thought you said God was up in heaven speaking. The Spirit of God like a dove. The dove was God. See, we just got through here. Holy Ghost and God's the same person. Mm -hmm. See? It's just a title. To it. See? And he saw the Spirit of God, not another God up in heaven speaking, but the Spirit of God was in the form of a dove. That was that was the Holy Ghost, and it was God the same thing. See? The Spirit of God like a dove descended, and a voice from heaven, which was above him, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am pleased to dwell. Really the right translation, he's got the verb before the adverb, like all the foreigner. It's this is my beloved son in whom I am pleased to dwell in, or whom I am pleased to dwell. In whom I am pleased to dwell. That was God coming into Jesus, and in him was the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And there's your Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sure. You get it? There's no there's no place in the Bible that speaks of three being a, a, a three gods. Uh, 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 there's no such a thing. It's absolutely pagan. It well, comes from pagan. That's away with that trinity. Yeah. <laughs> well, sure. It, it, it's just as it's just as bottomless as hell is. See, there's no such a thing. We trust that you have been blessed by God's word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar Devotional Book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message related content, we invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds podcast or visit our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, the word worlds.com. Thank you. And God bless you.